John Cristani here. Now, have you been struggling to find the time to work on your online business? Or have you been struggling to just stay focused and keep working on that same business, that same idea, that same income source that's going to ultimately make you successful? Well, I'm going to be going over why this, funnily enough, this little flip phone this old piece of technology from like a thousand years ago has been the most productive thing in helping me take back my time. And I'm gonna go over the exact reasons of why this is and how you can create for yourself just a lot more time, a lot more abundance of focus on your business so that you can ultimately become more wealthy. Now this is part of my mindset training series where I've really taken a deep dive into understanding the factors that have allowed me to become lucky or successful or whatever you want to call it but at the end of the day the result is I'm a multimillionaire and I'm going to be breaking down those shifts of how this has happened. I've trained tens of thousands of students at this point and I've been able to see over the years you know some people be very successful which is in the clear minority and many others the vast majority not be successful using the exact same techniques, the exact same training course, the exact same business model that I've taught everyone. So why have some people become more successful than others? And I'm breaking down why I believe, and from what I've seen, the most successful folks do in becoming entrepreneurs and what they don't do. Keep watching and go into it. Okay, so why do I have this flip phone? By the way, this is my main phone. This phone I'm using right here is actually just for streaming and for shooting. And this flip phone cost me $20. I got it from Walmart and this is my main phone. I take all my calls from, I do all my texts from, and I love it. But why is this such a big reason for my success, for my focus, for my time management? And the answer is we live in a horrible, horrible culture of notifications. Our phone, notifications, and technology trying to get our attention and take control of us. By the way, hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell for the YouTube algorithm, right? But this culture of notifications allows technology to cause us to really react to it. And as a person, as an entrepreneur, as a man, I don't believe that reacting to this life, reacting to situations is not going to make you rich, right? Make bank. You're not going to become successful if other people are controlling your time. You're going to become successful if you are controlling your time, if you are doing revenue producing activities during your time. Now I'll go more into this, but right now we're going to focus on getting you back your time that has been taken from you by these technology companies, by these companies such as Google, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Musical.ly, I think they're the same thing, all of those other things. It's notifications. The phone is reaching out to you any way possible to get your attention coming back to it. It's like a virus. Have you ever had that dinging, that notification go off in your phone? Maybe you're in the middle of another conversation and you can't help but think in the back of your head there's that little itch. Oh, I wonder why my phone dinged. I think I got a text message. I wonder who that text message was from. I have to check it. I have to check it. I have to check it. And you almost lose focus on the conversation you're engaged in with a person that's right there in real life because your phone is calling to you, right? Saying, come to me, come to me. That's reactivity at its finest. And our phones and the technology companies have mastered this to a sickening and insane degree. The way they've done this is many fold. So first off, your phone has this screen right here on it. The lights are built to be more brighter unnaturally bright and unnaturally bright in ways I believe it's the blue light spectrum to get your attention onto it now if I held my phone up right this is my phone if I held a phone up with a full color screen right next to my face 
in real life, the more interesting thing to look at is actually the phone. And you can do this with a baby. You can do this with a child. You can do this with anybody you want, with adults. It doesn't just work on children. Put a phone next to a person's face. Ran a person speaking on the phone. You know, let's say it's a FaceTime. And then you speak. A normal child, a normal baby will watch the phone because the light is brighter. The light hits what are called dopamine receptors in your brain that bring you happiness. The phone is designed to suck your attention into it in whatever situation you're in. We're animals. We're monkeys is what you have to understand. And these phones, these technology companies have figured out how to trick our brain to find a piece in objects such as this to be more interesting than an actual human being. They've cracked the code, so to speak. And that's just the screen. Now, going further than that, these notifications, there's a light, you know, this is my old phone I'm using. There's a light on the front. There's a light on the back. There's a buzzer. There's a ringer that makes sounds. So no matter what, even if your phone is on dead silent, the phone will still blink if I have a notification. The phone will still blink no matter if, if it's flipped on its back or its front. It used to be if you flipped your phone on its back, you wouldn't see any notifications, but it keeps calling to you to come back. Now that's not gonna help you when you're an entrepreneur because as an entrepreneur, you have to define your own time. The hardest part about being an entrepreneur is actually being able to focus and being able to self-control over yourself to stay on one activity for a long run, right? One activity, one business model, and move through the obstacles. Some of these are personal challenges, some of these are external challenges, but whatever the challenges are, you have to stay focused on one thing to be able to succeed in any business model. The point I'm getting to is ultimately this. Turn off the notifications on your phone. These things are products of multi-hundred billion dollar companies which understand you and your brain and how you work better than you understand yourself. We can't control our instincts and our instincts are to come back to the phone. That instinct you have when you hear the ding in the back of your head that says, reach for the phone, go for your phone check your text message, even in the middle of a conversation. That is instinctual. Ding, the sound is literally, it's been scientifically studied, just like the dinging of a coin when you collect it in Super Mario. Those dings, those high-pitched sounds, they've figured out that those are gonna keep people coming back like a bell. It's a little bell. So turn off all notifications. First step is turning off everything. Don't let your phone blink. Don't let your phone, even on the home screen, even when you turn all notifications off, the home screen will have, you know, icons that say one, right? It's like, hey, you've got notifications here. Turn off those notifications. Turn off your buzzer. Turn off your ringer. If people want to talk to you, you will call them back when you have time. So that's the first step. I went the extreme step, which I'd encourage folks to do. Let's pick up one of these flip phones. Make this your main phone. They're cheaper, they're more reliable. I can drop this, doesn't hurt. And even if my phone broke, it's 20 bucks anyways, right? I did this because I had a hard time controlling myself even around my smartphone. So cancel all your notifications, get rid of it all. You'll notice you have a lot more time in your day to focus on things that actually matter. You could go the next step of getting your own flip phone if you'd like. An even step further than that, which is something I do sporadically in fits and spurts, is measuring myself. And I'll measuring exactly what I do each minute of the day. And I'll talk more about that in future videos. But the most important thing you can do right now is cancel all notifications. And if you're committed to canceling all notifications and no longer reacting to life, reacting to your technology, then type in committed in the comments below and also give a like for this video. I'm trying something new. I understand these videos may be not be received as well as some of my other videos, such as, you know, earn, you know, earn $100 a day, you know, sending people messages on Instagram. But frankly, I've gotten a little bored of doing, of doing those videos 
every single day. I understand folks like that the most, but at the end of the day, it's you can make money doing affiliate marketing, messaging people on any platform. How to get started, you just message people. You send out your affiliate links. And I've gone over this, I've beaten this horse half to death, it feels like, and it's not that exciting to me. I really wanna help people, and I just don't see that as helping people at this moment. I'll probably go back to those videos sometime soon, maybe next week, who knows, but I really want to convey to people what I believe are some of the actual most important the hardest work to do. Going on Instagram, you know, I've done the stats and only about 1% of my audience actually even does any of the marketing methods that I teach. And about 1% of folks that do the marketing methods end up actually earning, you know, real significant money. Maybe some people follow through, maybe some people don't. I don't know, we have a lot of affiliates, so I don't talk to each affiliate. But overall, we, just to give you an idea, we paid out over $2.2 .2 million uh, last year to different affiliates that found out about me through my YouTube channel. So we've paid out a lot of money to subscribers of this channel, which is really exciting. And we continue to be on pace to beat that again this year. I'm very interested in education. I'm interested in how it works. I'm interested in what makes some people successful and what makes others not. And even if these videos aren't received as well in terms of viewership, in terms of catchy headlines, in terms of all that stuff, I'm hoping that these videos will actually, because I believe the 1% of action takers that are taking action on my money method videos, congrats. And we have lots of videos out there. Go to my channel, make sure you subscribe and go to down to the free traffic methods on my channel homepage. But for those of the 99% of folks that just are unwilling to take action on actually doing any marketing whatsoever, this video is for you. It's to not be so reactionary because I believe that's part of the root of everything. And once you start gaining back your time, you start enabling yourself to do great things. Everybody's very precious about their time, but the fact of the matter is much of our time is spent, is wasted unproductively. So maybe, you know, the thought that went through my brain was that Maybe 99% of people are not using my money methods. I believe 99% of people aren't using my money methods because they're doing an assessment in their head of the amount of time that doing a new business or doing marketing or doing these methods that will take. They figure that they just simply don't have the time to devote to a business. These next few videos are about getting back your time, finding ways to get that under your control. And once you start getting more time, once you start using a flip phone, once you start measuring how much unproductive time is spent just surfing the internet, just try not to replace it, I would say. Try not to replace it with anything. Think, meditate, you know, run, talk to people. Allow yourself to be bored. Allowing yourself to be bored is one of these things that many people I don't think practice as much these days. It's so easy to flip out your phone when you're bored and just scroll endlessly. And it becomes a psychotic, repeating, addictive loop, right? Because that boredom, that space where you're bored, where you go to your phone, it ends up becoming habit. That habit ends up becoming people you follow on social media. Those people you follow on social media end up becoming things you keep coming back to. So take back control of your time and turn off all notifications to start. I hope you play along with me. We're gonna be doing a lot of these videos. I'll be going through more mindset videos. The first section will be taking back control of your time. The second section will be about saving your money, right? Saving time, saving money. The third one will be about how to properly use and maximize your time and then we go into making money. I'm very excited to go through this series. This is a foundational series for anybody who's looking to better their life. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. We're here at, uh, for those of you who don't know, we're here at my uh, rental house. I'm here near uh, Malibu. The property I own, we had a house that burned down. It's in those hills back there. 
We have two acres. There's a big fire a year and a half ago. We're like a week away from getting building permits. It's taking freaking forever. You know what, life, you can't wag the dog, right? If you enjoy these, if these are uplifting, if these serve a greater purpose to help you become the best James Bond, you know, superwoman version of yourself, I encourage you, you know, subscribe, you know, hit notifications, comment, leave a like. But if this doesn't serve you, if this doesn't help make you a better person, forget about it. Talk to you soon.